Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokolover. And uh, let's continue playing as the German Reich, as we make sure that we do not lose a bunch of fuel. Because right now we are not doing very well in the fuel mechanic, but that's okay. I have, or at least I believe, maybe I didn't do it yet. I need more fuel, so I ran. Thank you. And I forgot about Romania. They are, they are in the Axis, so I'll get one from Romania as well. Not two, but one. Thank you very much. And... We are very close to another set of, another refinery in Bohemia. So I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment, but that's okay. So, so far we're doing pretty well in North America. North America, no, not North America. This is North Africa. As well as doing a very good job against um, the Soviet Union, pretty much. So, uh, let's see. So, there was a comment yesterday, one of these comments. He said, like if you're from Romania. Well, if you're from Romania, go ahead and go back and like that comment, I suppose. I was actually very surprised to see how much support there was for Romania. If it was up to me, I honestly probably would have given West Benant to not Romania. That would have been my personal decision, but whatever. You know, I'm a generous for her daddy. So, maybe, I probably would have given to Hungary, but it looked pretty bad. Eh, to me, that's why I didn't really care that much, though. It's not really up to me. It was up to you guys, so. Uh, let's see, ooh, another destroyer sunk. Great job. Actually, how many dockyards does the UK have? They can't have that many. Two, yeah. And we got a lot of ships to kill, and they're all, all adults serve. Very good. Uh, there was another comment that I actually do want to address somewhat seriously. Uh, I guess fairly seriously. It's just, uh, he said, if we get to 500 subscribers, or 1,000 subscribers, or anything like that, sh can I do a face review? What are the Soviets doing up here? Oh, my goodness. Um, where are you guys? Uh, you know what? I'm going to send the tanks up this way. The front line's pretty much kind of stalled out at this moment, which is fine with me. But, let's see, you guys are over here. If you can, do a do a number on the enemies. But, uh, I'm really against doing a face reveal just because, you know, I don't want to dox myself, stuff like that. I mean, if I get, like, extremely popular, which won't happen, or I can make YouTube into a career, which probably won't happen either. Maybe I will, but it's just... My career, or the, play, the way I am planning my career out is... Radically different than me doing Hoi4 stuff on YouTube. It's just, as much as I would like to, uh, I guess, I don't necessarily know if I have an irrational fear, but I just don't want to get doxxed or anything like that. Since I do have another channel as well. But, maybe someday. But, for the time being and for the foreseeable future right now, just probably not. Probably not. I would like to, but I can't do it at the moment. Especially with the way... YouTube is, and I guess, I don't know, current politics or something like that. Anyways, let's get back into the game as we are telling the Mexicans, no, this is our North Africa. Also, I will, uh, okay, Soviet Union and extend with Tuba. Watch out, everyone. The greatest country's gone now. Uh, oh, I want decisions. I do want to form up Rex Commissariat Ukraine. Now, that will be formed up after the war is over, mostly because I feel like I'm a little bit too lazy to actually uh, ask Romania for all these goodies for their, you know the land that they currently occupy so mm, go figure let's see is there anything else going on we are trying to attack we're doing okay-ish not great in some areas yeah really not so, not super great in some areas uh, up here we're doing okay though so that's a, that's okay since we're just pretty much trying to grind down the Soviets equipment levels just their logistics and equipment are just so bad. I mean, artillery for us isn't very good right now. Obviously, I'm trying to approve that, but um, it's going to take some time for me to get more artillery. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can trade with Portugal for now, which is fine with me, actually, before I go and exterminate them. But, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Waffen SS. Well, you know what? I really don't want any of my generals to leave. So, I'm not going to really recruit any more SS divisions until the Soviets are defeated. And when they are defeated, then we'll go ahead and basically recruit a lot of SS divisions. But, for the time being, if you want to get some experience points, that's fine with me. You can come here and attempt to defend against the Soviets, if things happen. And we just went from zero fuel to full fuel to zero fuel. Interesting. Well, since this probably doesn't have too many ships over here, I'm going to tell you all to go ahead and go home. Have a good time. Go home. I know you can't really do very much without fuel, but just 
Use your sails. These ships have sails, right? And use the wind to go home. Uh, cancel the lease. That's fine with me. Don't really care. Uh, yeah, bombers are pretty much grounded at the moment since we have no more fuel. Ah, and the first carrier thing is done. Great. Very great. Uh, I could get better cruisers. I will have to make cruisers, but I really need to get to 1940s carrier hulls first. Those are pretty much something I must have. Let's see. We are actually making... Ah, heavy ships and then better subs. What do we have here? Converted battleship, cruiser hull, converted battleship hull. That can wait. I'm not going to make any of that stuff until really necessary. Ooh, we lost an allied destroyer in exchange for two French light cruisers and five destroyers that are really just French as well. Fuel is... Well, we have a little bit of fuel for the next 12 days. Okay, three days. Uh, you guys are doing more than fine. You're detached. I would love to upgrade these ships, but they just refuse to get upgraded. It's 1936 heavy ship hull E. And whenever I try to do that, uh, I don't need to know about this. Heavy ship 1936 hull F. I have F, but the E won't upgrade to F, which is really kind of disappointing here. Uh, just go ahead and combine. I mean, I'm not going to use you anyways for the foreseeable future because of the fuel. So it looks like I'm going to have to just take these ships out. I'm not exactly sure why you can't upgrade these ships. Right now, let's see. Ah, we got better infantry stuff. I'm coming back to the ships in just a little bit, though. I'm not done talking about them, which is really kind of odd. Let's get some more fuel from refineries. Okay, so these ships, I didn't know this, but let's take a look at the turrets. This is basically the best battleship we currently have. We can go to design, and you can take a look. It is 1936 heavy ship hull E. And uh, this is, you know, it's design. Obviously, we can get better armor, and we can get better engines. So if I do this specific design, I can get four more max speed, or four more uh, kilonauts, I forget this, whatever the speed is, kilometer, nautical miles, whatever it is, and it does cost more fuel, but if I do that, it'll use up my XP, but then nothing really changes. We, we exit out, we go back to the design, and it goes back down to two again, and I lost my XP for nothing, which kind of... I guess irks me. I'm not really sure what we're really supposed to do. So, uh, German mythology. What is that? Wotan? Dude, the turpets. I'm going to keep the turpets, but if we can name it like Wotan, holy crap. Or Alb, or Thrym, or Eger, Alta. Ooh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm not really sure these ships refuse to get upgraded. So, that's just, it seems like it, it might not. Oh, there it goes. Now it can be upgraded. Maybe just have to wait like half an hour. Uh, let's see, hold F, hold G. Uh, let's see, that's four more speed, and this will give you more speed, HP. Okay, that's good. So I already made F. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh okay, never mind. Never mind, it takes up to 784 days. Holy crap, that's that's extremely long. That's, that's not worth it. <laughs> oh, that's the thing I was trying to remember. So the thing about the ship mechanics, you want to get as many as you can... See, these are all the same type of ship, but you can go with refit ships because they de they made it since the launch of Man the Guns. This is a little different here, that you have to do like click on all of them or just click on one, and then you have to manually refit ships. It will not tell you if ships can be refitted, which is I think is an extreme mistake because you don't know if these can be upgraded or not. You think that oh these should be upgradable, we should do this. Sorry, you can't do it or. We're not going to tell you that it is possible for you to upgrade these ships. We're going to save that new design. And then give it a little bit of time before we keep moving on. And here, let's go ahead and stop any sort of actions that are going on. Because right now, overall, it's not really worth attacking. Uh, our tanks are up here, though. Uh, with the tanks, I really need to conserve on fuel. But I think it should be okay if we do this. It should be fine. Let's go back down to our fleet. And check if... Any of you guys? Oh, Cairo has fallen. Awesome. And now we can upgrade it, destroy a whole F, cost a lot more fuel, but you get better torpedo tech, depth charges, and max speed. It only takes 18 days, so that's, personally, for me at least, that ain't too bad. See, that's an independent one. These two can be upgraded to cruiser hull E. And this is a capital ship, so we don't want that. We want these better cruiser hulls here, which actually we should be able to upgrade to radar 3. Can't do that yet. See, that's still okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This is a light cruiser. Yeah, there's not really much you can do about that. And... 
There we go. Cruiser hull F. 15 days isn't bad. I mean, it's not that big of an upgrade, but whatever. Uh, can you guys be upgraded as well? Destroyer hull... What is this? Worse mine line, wor more fuel usage. What's the difference between these two? This costs way more. More empty air, more max speed, more depth charges, more sub-detection. This gives you less torpedo... What's on this versus this? Yeah, that's garbage. Let's get rid of this. That's fine. And for this main fleet, I really don't mind us doing this. Just upgrade everything you can because the best... This is going to be our best fleet, and I want it to be the best it can be. Repairs are fine. I'm not even going to use this fleet for quite a while anyway, so... Since we definitely need to upgrade everything here. That's fine. Uh, battleships. Turpets. Eh, that's probably honestly not worth upgrading. Uh, heavy cruiser hull. Yeah, I mean, you already pretty much upgraded it as far as we can go. So, how long would that take to upgrade you? Ah, eh, screw it, we'll do it. And now that will, of course, require a lot of repairing things, but whatever. I'm not really concerned about that. My concern about my concern right now is about the Eastern Front. Uh, let's see, we're still holding on. And, of course, Egypt has fallen. Now, I could support more of my allies here. Or I could focus on taking out Syria. I think Syria would be a good choice. Iraq, though, is not in anyone's faction, huh? Gotta love coffee, man. Let's see. Permit SS recruitment. I will recruit more SS divisions, especially and use them when we invade the United States. I do want more stabili stability. Yeah. Stability. Yeah. I need more refineries. Oh, baby. I'll do that. And do that. Good. Good. Yeah, we're full, but not really. We had five fuel. Um, you know, just hold on for now. Don't, don't fly. Uh, if I abandon the line, it looks like the Italians just don't have enough divisions over here. And we are getting attacked, and that might help Maximilian become a better general. He's level six. Holy cow, he's level six? He can become a logistics wizard. He can become a very good field marshal. Uh, who is this? God von Rundstedt. You're only level 3, that's disappointing. Ostwald, very good. Uh, we could do Atlantic Wall, which wouldn't be bad. German Air Innovations, that wouldn't be bad either. Befriend Japan. You know what, we're not getting that much political power right now, which I still want more. So let's do this, we get one more daily political power. And Ideology Drift Defense, and can create factions. And we can only do that while we're at war, so. Decryption is done, awesome, 1942. We could get better radar, but I need more fuel. Uh, don't need more rubber, I think. Rubber is fine. Oh, we got... Ho holy crap, we got a lot of rubber. God, I love refineries. So, basically, the Eastern Front has stalled for now. And, honestly... Uh... The fall of Pearl Harbor, Japanese forces have stormed and taken Honolulu, the largest city on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. The naval base at Pearl Harbor, formerly the headquarters of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, has also fallen. And the U.S. forces retreated to Ford Island, where they continued to offer stubborn resistance until they were subjected to an intense artillery and serial bombardment. Oh my goodness. As an American, I feel mixed about this. Oh well. Joint tank development. Huh. Uh, oh, yeah, we gotta get some tank development for the next year. Logistic companies will be extremely good to use as well. Uh, but it looks like I think we should be okay if we abandon doing any of this, because we took out everyone that could be an enemy here, so you guys... Go ahead, go home, and repair now. Even though you won't be able to repair because we don't have any more slots available for you. Uh, what are we waiting on? Probably more artillery. That's pretty much the main thing that we're waiting on. Uh, the Soviets, at this time, though, are probably producing more equipment. They obviously have a lot of manpower. They're on service by requirement, which is kind of insane to think about, as the tanks are wrapping up their adventures in this area. Great. Heinz, do you have anything for me? No. Cool. Coast Guards, you need to come over here, too. We have 91 divisions. That's fine with me. And we need 99, 91 of them. So we, perfect, perfect fit. Uh, if anything, we're going to try to do potentially an encirclement here. Something like that. And we definitely need to stock up on our fuel. Oh my goodness. And we sunk two destroyers. Great. Yeah, there's not a lot. Oh, we have Jerusalem. Even better. Even better. Oh, crap. Uh, heavy ships. Oh, look at all these cruisers that could be upgraded. Um, is there anything that could be immediately upgraded? Ah, uh, the cruiser hull. Let's switch that out to 1936. Hull F, that's fine. Uh, convoys are going to be set at the bottom, because I want all these ships to be repaired. 
and yes, I will be making more and more dockyards as time goes on. Let's go ahead and get started on that a little bit more. Let's see, we'll put you there, 100%. Put you in Denmark as well. That'll be good. Put you with, of course, the artillery. And honestly, what is this? German task force, that's fine. What was I thinking of? We don't really need this, some of these areas to be guarded anymore. Like, probably the German mainland really doesn't. Yeah, Mamel, we're going to keep that on. we got 86 divisions to use in total. Parts of the Mediterranean are pretty much good at this point. Ooh, sunk six destroyers, great. Yeah, honestly, I think we're pretty good here. Uh, do some resistance and some suppression here in Leningrad. Over here as well. Eventually we will be able to take that off, but whatever. Six division sunk is not bad, especially with the help of the Italian Navy. I can't believe I just said that. The Italian Navy actually was competent. Wow. Uh, go down there. Oh, baby, what's going on? Oh, we need to invade this area. Also, I do have Marines, but I don't know if we have... God dang it, I was going to use my Marines to invade Egypt, but obviously that's not going to happen now. Uh, you guys, come over here. Where are you? I don't know where you're at. Come to Rhodes. I want Rhodes taken out. We obviously have Crete already. Uh, you guys, come from this part of Spain. We've got to invade this island here. And then, is there any other allied-held territory within the Mediterranean? We have Malta. We're going to get Rhodes. This looks like another piece of territory that we can get, or should try to liberate from the evil forces of the allies. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Alright. I will not attack until I have enough artillery. That's pretty much my goal. And we have better logistic companies, because some of these areas, my goodness, they're pretty trashy. Especially in this area. Oh, uh, let's see, unread port strike results. Oh, a heavy cruiser was sunk. Great, great, great. Just speed up time by a little bit. It is December. It's not really a great time to attack anybody or anything. We need two more divisions. Exit that out. Reinforcements, good. What happened? Oh, we actually sunk another heavy cruiser. Wow. And I got a couple of destroyers left. It's not bad. And, oh wait, New Zealand, what is going on? Hirohito has announced that the cowardly New Zealand nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Japanese forces throughout the country. God, at that point, I would say everyone needs a gun, and, or at least before that. Oh my god, Japan! J Japan, what are you... I mean, you already have half of Hawaii, but... Wow. Japan, we were not looking at you at all, but... I would be scared if I was Australia now. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're completely surrounded by Japanese, well, you know, islands and forces. Even Hawaii is falling. And yes, I could still call Japan into the war against the Soviets, but if I do that, that means I have to give them territory in the end. And I don't want to do that. No one wants to give the Japanese territory. That sounds like a bad idea. Go ahead when you can. If you can. I don't know, I don't have my ships here, so... That's why I tell them, just go ahead when you can. If there's enough allied ships around here for you to do a good job, so be it if you die. Try not to, you know, normal stuff. Uh, here, you know what? I said earlier that I didn't want to attack, and I'm still not going to. Uh, over here, though, what has happened? Send the tanks in, send the infantry in, because it looks like something's happened over here. Uh, one division, go ahead and take this one division out. Awesome. And we just keep sinking more and more ships. Awesome. I kind of don't want to invade this island because the British keep putting ships here and I could just keep bombing the hell out of them. So good. See, so we only get 0.78 political power a day because we're still boosting ideology in the United States as well as Turkey. Let's take a quick look at them. The Turks. Happy 1943, everyone. Happy 1943. It's a great, great year. Uh, 38% fascist, alright. And the United States is 43% fascist once again. Holy smokerinos. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, we have almost... We're almost done in Syria. Great. Great, 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 great. So we can send everyone down next to Africa. <laughs> Nothing says a vacation like Africa, right? Yeah, exactly. Totally, yeah. Awesome. Um, infantry motorized divisions. Cool. How is this one division doing? Oh, they're defending. Kind of defending. Uh, how is artillery? We've... A minor deficit, not bad. We are losing quite a few guns a day, but we are kind of attacking. So that's n that's pretty much to be expected. Oh, the Soviets probably aren't very close to capitulating. 
but it's a good idea to keep an eye on them, and I'm pretty much done at this point trying to build more infantry divisions. If we lose an army, so be it. It's not really a big, huge concern of mine. Yes, we have better logistic companies. Yes, 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 yes. We, we use less fuel, and supply usage goes even further down. Now, I want to get tanks, but I still want to build stuff faster. Build, 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 build. My name is not Bill. I do not build. I'm not Bob the Builder. No, but I love, love, love building stuff in this game. Awesome. That actually looks like it really helped our supply situation here with an upgrade in the logistic company. So we won't lose as much supplies. Now, it's not super great right now. Uh, let's see. If we were, if the unit were to continue moving, it would cause the next province to require more supplies than it has capacity for. Explicit move order can force the unit to move it out anyways. And that's why I love logistic companies, because especially if you're fighting in Russia, you're going to lose a lot of supplies. You're going to have a lot of attrition. And here we have more coasts. Awesome. I was just looking. Go ahead and turn this up a little bit more. And give them makeshift bridges so you can have better river attack. And sure, why not? Okay, it's not going super well. Uh, tanks, where are you? Come right here. You've beaten these guys down pretty darn well. But go ahead and just encircle them. Or, you know, just... Beat the snot out of them. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, a 1936 carrier hull. Great. 1940 is up next. Unfulfilled import requests. Iran. My boy. Come on, man. Now, who am I going to get oil from? Iraq? I'm actually okay with that. Since we technically do have... Oh, we did it. Awesome. We have access to Iraq. Actually, I should probably be boosting their ideology if needed. Go ahead and stop this. And go ahead and plan yourselves to take out South Africa. Oh, Gerd von Rundstedt, do you have an up... <gasps> yes, that's actually going to be extremely important as we invade Africa. Africa. Advanced oil processing, so we're now we're coming back with even more fuel. Great. Let's go ahead and get the next Panzer. 69 days. Nice. Anyways. All right, Clem is building more infrastructure. We're getting a lot more fuel, and I'm going to need to build up even more dockyards, which is fine with me. <clears throat> Stockpile report. We're almost out of our deficit. Good. Uh, we're doing very well. Improved national spirit. Great. We have triumphant will. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We need to defeat the Soviet Union before we can cross the Atlantic. So we can do the anti-Soviet pact, which basically does nothing for us with Turkey or Afghanistan since we're at war with them already. Let's get Air Innovations too. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Early subs, early subs, very good. And, <clears throat> excuse me, tanks. United States pursues interventionist policies. Good for you, United States. I don't really care. Wow, our tanks aren't doing well over here. Well then, so be it. You guys can stop. Go ahead and go back down to this, and I will rearrange my tanks to make sure that they are a little more conductive elsewhere. Like here. Probably a bad idea to do this over here, but you know what? I'm all about different ideas right now. All sorts of different ideas. Uh, let's see. Let's take the Italians are trying to attack. Uh, for you guys, you know what? Go ahead and... You guys probably have pretty good planning, speeds, attacks, stuff like that. Uh, you kind of winning here? Kind of not. William Slim, huh? Not bad. We're attacking over a river, but our infantry can pierce all the enemy divisions, which includes their tank. Which is probably not a very good light tank division, but regardless. Whatever. And our tanks have now made it down here. And there's still very little attrition. I absolutely love it. And now I'm going to assume manual control of the tank divisions. Push these guys in. Just push them in. And then come over here so we can get across the river. And you know what? Let's do that again. And then come up here, and then come up here, and if you can, get up to there. So we can make a fairly decent encirclement. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, and extra Coast Guard division is always useful. Always. Good, good, good. Cancel Lend Lease, Marines, Thin Infantry Artillery looks pretty good. I might make them 40 width divisions, I'm not sure yet. Actually, I might change this out to mechanized. I should make some mechanized units eventually. I almost never use them, but they sound like a very fun thing to use. Great, 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 great. Oh. Oh, wait, we actually have another Coast Guard division from Norway this time. And another tank division. Ah, oh, I love it. 
tanks. Great. You guys are doing a good job. I mean, yeah, they keep throwing in more infantry and stuff, but, you know, even despite that, you're doing a great job. Fuel usage, not looking great, but not looking bad. How are our upgrades doing? One out of seven, empty, 36 holes. Upgrades, taking quite a while, taking quite a while. Uh, let's see. Oh, Serbian Empire wants to send us a whole division. I love it. Also, I just thought of this, but eventually... I will ask Italy for Sud Tyrol. I, I definitely need that. Probably Trieste. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Italians. If we need to backstab them, so be it. You know, I'm not above doing... Oh, God dang it, why'd I click that? God dang it. Whatever. Um, screw it. All of you guys, if you can attack, please just go ahead. Go ahead and stop attacking. Move wherever you need to. Take Novgorod. We'll start another offensive right now. Because we have enough artillery at the moment. Stalino. Let's see. A lot of infantry are attacking. Not bad. Our loss is at 1.42 million versus the Soviets 1.3. 4.3, I mean. 4.3. Uh, tanks. Oh, you guys just... I need you to go ham. I need you to, like, crush the enemy. Like, instead of just moving. Alright, seriously, just go ahead and stop. Or do something else. Every advance is a good thing. Every advance will make us stronger, hopefully, in the end. Uh, let's see. Wow, we got a lot of political power now. 2.06 a day because of the triumphant will. Because of that, I feel feel very good about that. Let's start training... Uh, National Union of Greece, Croatia. Let's do, keep doing Croatia. Let's do a bunch of these. We get 0.56 a day. Screw it, we didn't need political power. Let's do all these a day. Everyone's going to be fascist, whether they like it or not. Oh, God. Uh, good. Casualties going up a little bit, but not nearly as fast as the Soviets, I hope. 4.43, 1.49, 4 4.44, and eh, maybe they're going up at about the same rate. But the Soviets definitely cannot produce nearly as much as we can, so that's really my... That's how you really beat the Soviet Union. Just destroy all of their equipment. I mean... 159 factories compared to our 275. They have a lot of divisions. They got a lot of manpower, but the fall of New South Wales. Oh my god, what the heck? Japan. Absolutely amazing, I guess. I guess you could call it amazing. Depends on your opinion, I suppose. Uh, good. Still not able to invade anywhere. Except whatever this is. What is this? Uh, Dodecanese. Never been there, but sounds like a great place. Sounds like a great, great place. Well, since you're here, anyways. Uh, attack there. Go ahead when you can. Not really too concerned about it. Yeah, trying to use the AI to attack isn't always a great idea. Definitely isn't always a great idea. But, you know what? Give them a push, Put on a little more pressure on them. Because their divisions, they're not super strong. Well, our divisions aren't super great. At least I remembered to put on field hospitals, which are probably saving quite a bit of manpower for us. Let's see, 1.54 versus 4.53. So be it. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be better, but could be worse. Awesome. Very good. Push those guys in. Push them in. Push them in. The cavalry. Spare the horses, but kill the men. We're going to need those horses for the, you know, the growing season. It's already March. Wow. Look at all that political power we have again. 0 0.06 a day. Well, I was, we're training more and more people to be fascist. Ah, what could go wrong? 64%. Vichy France is 67%. The Netherlands is currently 61. Norway is 61. Not bad, not bad. More ships. Oh, we sunk the battle cruiser. Great. Actually, before I forget, Plan Z. We have enough light cruisers as is. We need more heavy cruisers, but I'm not going to make any more heavy cruisers. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting about this. Until, uh... Ah, screw it. We'll make it the next sub. Uh, we don't need to know about that either. Sub, hold B. I will make more heavy cruisers once we get 1940s heavy cruisers in there. Uh, let's see. About May. Mid-May, mid-April, is when we need to upgrade the next ships. That's good to know. You know what? For now, add these in there as well. So I'm going to get all those ships done and taken care of. We are running out of fuel again? Jesus. Ah, excavation 4. So hopefully we can get more fuel now. 
We're doing tanks. That's great. Infantry. We'll get better land knight attack. And maybe do some more stuff later on regarding uh, naval stuff. Because right now is the time we need to build up our navy. Uh, did we win? I think we won. Yeah, great. We actually invaded Rose and we got it. Great job, guys. Uh, oh, obviously Cyprus has to be taken out. So, you guys, you're already down here. You might as well go from Rhodes to here. And then you guys also invade from here to here. And then you guys invade from... Sure, go over here too and go over there. Sounds pretty good to me. Floating Fortress is done. Great. Uh, we're not even really using the naval stuff. That All, all that stuff can be researched very soon. Uh, let's go with... Cruiser hull. Let's get better cruiser armor first. And then, oh, we took a battleship and a destroyer. Awesome. Just slowly destroying the British fleet. I love it. That's so good. We are definitely pushing in. How close? We're not that close to Stalingrad, but that's okay. Who, does anyone have, have upgrades? No? Ah, uh, Ernst Eberhard Hell is not injured any further. That's good. I don't want to lose any generals. That's my greatest fear about using SS divisions. I just don't want to lose any of my generals, except for the bad ones. So, also, we do have you guys not doing very much. Go ahead and turn the heat up. Oh my god, there's no one here. <laughs> what was I doing? No. Oh, better panzers. Yay, better panzers. Everyone screams yay for better panzers. Except for the people who are fighting the better panzers. That's actually kind of scary. Panther panzers. Ooh. Artillery. And let's get some more artillery. Yes, I know I said I want to do more naval stuff, but... Artillery is very important, and it's actually almost mid-April, so we should be almost done with that destroyer. Australia's gone. Oh my goodness, that's kind of terrifying. But uh, yes, I will end this episode very soon. I just want to see how much further we can get in this single episode. Or at least try to get one of these ships upgraded. April 16th, we've got five days until that happens, and uh, honestly, at this point, it looks like the Soviets have pretty much kind of collapsed. Their front line, yeah, part of it is still very strong. Ooh, an encirclement. But other parts of it, they, it looks like they just abandoned the line. I mean, they just th they, th they throw down their guns. And they're like, oh my god! I've had too much coffee. Even though that was my first cup of the day. Oh my goodness. Uh, just That's so good. Eventually we'll have more than enough destroyers. We did air innovations too. Rocketry could help with more jet engine stuff. As well as a bonus for nuclear technology. Come on, just give it a little bit more. And... We gotta build more stuff. And we did it. Great. 1940s stuff is next. Awesome. Great. Oh, wait. We need to also produce better tanks. Don't want to forget that. You know what? Since we have so much army XP that we're not really using, do that as well. Yeah. Five armor, four engine, and a slightly better uh, reliable tank. <laughs> German tanks being reliable. Ha! Huh. Good joke. Uh, anyways. Oh, we're done with that. Done with repairs. Let's go ahead and take two of those off. Just because, well, there's really no point to not do it. We're getting tons of army XP. And yeah, we got a lot of casualties, but sort of the Soviets as they are fumbling about their lines. Oh, we need to probably stop the offensive at the moment. Stop the offensive. Rearrange ourselves. Prepare ourselves for the next push. Uh, these guys up here, I'll let... I'll let them continue doing that. And the tanks, go ahead and stop yourselves as well. Uh, go ahead and keep pushing in, though. And tanks, the last orders of instruction. Where are you guys? I will give you is come down towards this area. And also help push for the next episode. So, what have we done, guys? We've pushed further in. We've got a lot more political power. We have made it so that we have enough fuel for the foreseeable future. We have taken out any, almost any sort of allied presence in the Middle East. And we are slowly, slowly working down towards taking out enemies in Africa. As we are building up a bigger navy. Even though, god dang it, I need more uh, capital ships. Regardless though, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue watching Japan take out the rest of the world. Thanks for watching, guys.